That's what have you done to the latest battlefield? Where did the theme tune go? The new one is so bad. And enough of that news. But that did set the tone for this video and about all the things I think Battlefield 2042 did wrong. So obviously, the first thing I want to talk about was that iconic theme tune that we've been so used to hearing over the past few games. It all started with Battlefield 3, and since then we have all come to love that iconic riff in its various forms we've heard over the Battlefield titles. But Battlefield 2042's music, especially the theme tune, just feels like they have lost that iconic riff and feeling that the older titles gave us. I'm not knocking the quality or anything of the music, and I do think it is good video game soundtrack music. However, I just don't feel like it fits that Battlefield feeling and atmosphere. For me, Battlefield has always felt like it's action-packed, cinematic-styled warfare. Best way I can explain that is to think of the scene in Save It Private Ryan on Omaha Beach with all the soldiers and explosions, but then take all the realism out of that and imagine that they're all like COD players able to sprint cancel, 180 jump shot, headshot you and so on. Like That's kind of the feeling for me. So this current music is just a bit too dark and gritty to capture that Battlefield feeling for me. And don't get me started on the end around music either. Some of those are just out of so whack. Next on the list of disappointments, in no real order by the way, is the spawning mechanic. Like seriously, how many titles are we going to go through till we get a decent spawning system again? Battlefield 3, 4 had it best in my opinion. Clean, simple, and with no extra faffing around, with extra screen zooming in or out, starting the spawn animation and then stop to tell you that you can no longer spawn there. When we click spawn, we want to spawn into the action, not wait around, sit in, wait in for some fancy animation to finish so that we can get playing. On on that similar note, uh, please get rid of the weird no spawning before round starts and go through another animation before you can. Also, on a similar point, how about the reviving mechanic? No one likes being locked into a QTE or having to charge up before reviving. Please just put it back to like the Battlefield 3 Bad Company 2 style, where it was just a single click, instant full HP revive. Just put a small cooldown on it to try and balance it and stop it from being OP and being overused. But moving on, server stability and FPS is probably the worst it has been in years and the main reason why the game is a such had such a bad reception at launch and continues to carry that stigma. However, or whoever the that made those decisions, like I, 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 not to my knowledge, however, the decisions made really impacted the performance of the game. Like my computer is not super up to date or anything, but it's neither a piece of tech from like the Stone Age days. To be transparent, my computer, my PC is now five years old, but it does have an i7 7700K CPU, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and an Asus ROG 1080Ti 12 gigabyte graphics card. And still, even with everything set to the lowest, I can barely stay above 60 frames on some maps or areas, depending on if there's a million vehicles or not. Back with the 128 player servers, my FPS barely hit above 40. But now, with most of that removed from the game, and the staple being back to 64 player playlists, I am seeing more stable frames, and it has in closer to the 60 FPS mark. Next on the list is the gadgets and classes changes. Now, let me say it right now that I don't mind Battlefield bringing in specialists and giving them unique abilities, making them fit in the system, but don't then make all the weapons and gadgets universal, as then that destroys the class system. Imagine seeing a Casper and knowing he can only have a sniper or DMR and the recon based gadgets. You can then easily identify how and if you are capable of engaging that target and a basic understanding of what you could expect them to be able to do. This is what made Battlefield unique gave it that class-based gameplay. Now, you can place a resupply crate whilst using a sniper rifle, but also have your own med bag, but infinite healings, and you will also never run out of ammo or HP, but you can still be sniping, breaking that battlefield feeling of everybody having their role on the battlefield, and then coming together to achieve victory. Lastly, and quickly, the maps. Just what were they thinking? Yes, the maps are a good size for 128 players, but with how the points are placed and how little points to capture in a lot of the areas of maps, they understand why they thought this would be an improvement. Let's take a big map they have remade before, Dragon Valley, for Battlefield 4 Community Update. Now, this is a pretty big map, but it has like eight points to capture, or maybe more. I can't remember exactly. I feel that this map got remade for, got remade for Battlefield 2042, that it would still only have eight points to capture in the same areas, but now they would group a couple of them together to make these new sectors uh, and made up from like these B1, B2 capture points. The better idea would be to keep 
the eight original points and make them the eight sectors in the new iteration. Then you can place multiple capture points in each sector, spreading out the 128 players more evenly as there will be more focal points on the map. Let's take the latest map for example. Exposure is a decent map and an improvement from the launch maps, but mainly due to the cover you have in the map and the lines of sights this creates inside and between the capture points. Also, they have used the verticality of the level well, but there is an obvious issue where everyone congregates around the centre of the map to try and avoid the vehicles. This ends up placing the majority of the server in a small space and creates that metro feeling of just a mess of explosions but with no sense of progression in the map. Kind of isn't that metro feeling as well. So here we are at the end of the video and I would just like to thank you all for listening to my rant today and if you have agreed with either one thing I've said then hit that like button smash that subscribe button. But as always keep safe, keep well and I'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.